Tonight, the United States is one step closer to providing aid for Israel in its war against Hamas. The U.S. House of Representatives passing a $14.3 billion aid package, but it is still a long way from making an impact, facing a showdown in the Senate as well as at the White House. Details in our top story tonight at 10 o'clock. The House passed that package for Israel on a vote of 226 to 196, with 12 Democrats joining all but two Republicans to move that bill out of the lower chamber. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer saying that the Senate would not take up that deeply flawed proposal, instead working on its own funding package for Israel and Ukraine and humanitarian aid for Gaza. President Biden and his administration have threatened to veto the package, arguing that it's bad for Israel and for U.S. national security. South Dakota Representative Dusty Johnson spoke about the possibility of the president vetoing that measure. I'm surprised actually paying for things around here is controversial. Uh, my sense is this should not be hard. Of course, let's help Israel. But of course, let's make sure that it's paid for. And if the White House is not interested in paying for it out of an expanded IRS, uh, a bloated IRS, then okay, let's talk about how we can pay for, uh, pay for this. President Biden has requested almost $106 billion for Israel, Ukraine, and the U.S.-Mexico border. House Speaker Mike Johnson wants to take on these requests separately with addressing aid for Ukraine. Coming up next, Nebraska Representative Adrian Smith says that's something he can live with. I uh, think that Ukraine funding, Israel uh, funding uh, should be separate, but both uh, efforts I need to have, you know, defined objectives. I make sure that we're not just throwing money at something. Certainly, our, our support uh, for both Israel and uh, Ukraine, but especially Israel right now, uh, given the, the sudden attack that they have responded to, uh, I think it's important that we stand with Israel uh, and the ally that they, that they obviously are in, in a dangerous neighborhood. And uh, our support for Israel is key. The U.S. House of Representatives also approved a resolution to condemn support on college campuses for Hamas.